Hello everyone, I'm back with another MCQ practice session and today's topic would be on molecular biology. So there would be 10 questions, 20 minutes and this 20 minutes would worth your time. Now if you are preparing for IT JAM, CSIR, NET, CAT, B, CUCT, these kind of examinations and you are looking for sources from where you can practice MCQs, let me give you quick ideas about that. First of all, you can stick to my channel and learn a lot of MCQs because I post them frequently. You can learn from that. But if you want another second resource, then I'll tell you that there is a specific batch for GATB 2020 and there is also a specific batch for IIT JAM 2021, uh, 2022. So you can follow those batches for respective preparation. Batch for GATB 2021 is starting from 28th April so many of you guys had this question in mind so hurry up and still if you are not subscribed to this platform subscribe now due to very high demand the prices are kept low but it would rise high very quickly so subscribe ASAP download the app use my code AP10 to get a 10% discount and then you can get the benefit of this platform you can learn from these lectures live lectures there would be doubt clearing sessions you can solve questions, you can give mock tests and many more. So download now and hurry up, enroll now. Okay, now we are back with our questions. First question says, mark the incorrect statement about mini satellite. So we are talking about molecular biology. We are here with microsatellite or mini satellite. So the statements about mini satellites are the following. Option A, tandemly repeated, repeated DNA segment. B, its size can go up to 20 kilobase pair in length. It's a short cluster. It, these are short clusters. These are found in telomere and centromeric regions. So you can clearly understand the wrong statement here is basically this one. This does not go up to kilobase pair. This up goes up to 20 base pair maximum. So obviously the size estimation is wrong here. So when we talk about these microsatellites and mini-satellites, we need to understand where we find them, what is their size, and what type of sequence they are. So they are palindromic sequence, repetitive sequences. So this is important, right? These kind of questions, this kind of question was asked in JNU several years back. Okay, then next question. The type of mutation that is imposed by a transposon is silent mutation, reverse mutation, polar mutation, or frameshift mutation. Okay, you can pause the video and try to answer this question. The most common type of mutation that would be evoked by a transposon insertion is a frame shift mutation. Because imagine there is a DNA segment, right? And the transposon is coming here from random location and getting integrated here. So the ORF would be now shifted, right? Yes, so the ORF that is read previously would be now shifted. And the protein product would be changed. So, a frame shift mutation is the most appropriate answer in this case. Okay, which of the following RNA, sorry, rRNA is synthesized by RNA polymerase 3 but not by polymerase 1 in eukaryote? So, this is an important question that what are transcript of which type of polymerase? Let me tell you that RNA pol 1 are gener generic polymerases for several rRNA transcripts but only 5S rRNA is not synthesized by Pol1 but Pol3 along with the uh, tRNA transcript. So obviously here the D would be correct option. Which cation is placed in catalytic subunit of RNA polymerase and is important for its catal catalysis? I mean it's, it's important for catalysis of DNA or RNA polymerases. You have to understand that which ion is important for the catalytic function of DNA or RNA polymerase. You would get a clue. Have you ever used MgCl2 in your PCR reaction? This is because Mg2 plus ion is important or crucial for RNA or DNA polymerase function or polymerase activity. If you want to check more about polymerase transcription and translation, you can get to the I button there you would get all the detailed videos okay next question 
a researcher was performing a mammalian cell culture and in order to prevent bacterial contamination, he can choose which of the following antibiotic. So he has to choose one particular antibiotic which would prevent the bacterial polymer uh, bacteria but not affect the eukaryotes, right? So here rivampicin is very specific to prokaryotes. I have a video regarding that. So you can watch it quickly for the reference. Okay, and oligomycin blocks the ATP synthase. So it would attack both eukaryote and prokaryote. So we cannot use oligomycin. Now, alpha aminitin is selective to eukaryote, so we cannot use that because it would kill our cell culture. It would not kill the contaminant. So rifampicin is our only option. Okay, now there is a question which is pretty linguistic type. So it's a long one. So read this question carefully. Which of the following statement about the promoter element is not true? A promoter element is a regulatory region of DNA that is recognized by transcription factors and RNA polymerase to initiate the mRNA transcription. Second statement, promoter elements are generally located upstream of the gene and never located in the downstream of the gene body. Okay, option, op, option C is a promoter can be strong or weak. Strength of the promoter can be analyzed by in vivo reporter assay or luciferase assays, right? So, these are the important uh, options. So, so, now you have to understand which one is incorrect. So let me tell you option B is the incorrect one because we do find downstream promoter elements and if you know which gene we found the downstream promoter elements, do let me know in the comment. Okay. By itself, methylated H3K9 inhibits transcription, but the response of methylated H3K4 and methylated H4K20 and these three modifications act together to stimulate transcription. <coughs> okay? Okay, this evidence, I mean, this evidence tells us which of these observations. The chromodomain are repulsed by H4K20. Histone modifications are being read as a code which uh, I mean they are basically read as a group and each code has a meaning just like a barcode what modified I mean that modified histone are read one at a time by transcriptional machinery and none of the above so the correct option is like the histone code right so these modif the modifications are read by specific readers and that give rise to specific changes at transcriptional level. So these readers, writers are really important in context of uh, DNA modification or histone modifications. Okay, which of the following are epigenetic change that would affect regulation of gene expression? Options are histone acetylation, histone methylation, cytosine methylation, all of the above. Yes, all of the above would actually determine transcriptional changes or how much a gene would be expressed. Okay, last question of the day. These are very popular type of question, but difficult to understand or, or difficult to answer because sometimes you get confused with these mechanisms. So you, these, these questions clearly states that you have a bunch of antibiotics on the left hand side and their functions on the right hand side or the way they work, right? So these kind of question requires a lot of memory. So based on the hotspots or hotspot antibiotics, you are going to note it down and prepare for your exam in the last day but for this particular question i am not going to give the answer read this option care i mean question carefully and try to answer in the comment so looking forward to your comment now if you like this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe press the bell icon for getting notification and please share it with your friends it would help me to reach bigger audience and it would motivate me at least okay thank you